Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make the upper wing section of a UAV. This time I'll try manual resin impregnation to produce a sandwich panel. The goal is to reduce the weight of the structure while maintaining stiffness and strength. At the end, we'll compare how much lighter it is compared to a section made using the vacuum infusion method. Preparing the necessary materials. Instead of special vacuum bagging film and sealant tape, I'll be using a household garbage bag and acrylic sealant. I've had a bad experience with these materials before, but this time. I want to take into account the mistakes I made. I lay the first layer of carbon fabric on the mold. To fix the fabric on the mold, I use an adhesive spray. At the wings bend, the fabric deforms heavily, so I decide to cut it into two pieces and overlap them to avoid wrinkles. I place a foam sheet on top of the impregnated carbon layer. In the foam, I had pre-cut square openings for the servo hatches of the Elevon controls. I unsuccessfully tried to fix the foam to the mold with adhesive spray. I lightly coat the top surface of the foam with resin so it seeps into the pores. I lay the second layer of carbon fabric. At the mold's bend, the foam sheet springs back. The wing's curvature doesn't allow the fabric to sit tightly and a wavy bulge appears in the middle. I decide to carefully start impregnating the fabric, hoping that once it's wet, it will become more elastic and stick to the foam. As I impregnate the bend area, the parallel fibers bunch together and large gaps appear in the weave. I decide to leave it as it is. I place peel ply and breather fabric. Then I apply acrylic sealant along the mold's perimeter, and carefully lay down the garbage bag. The bag is slightly larger than the mold, so I leave some space for folds. I connect the bag to the vacuum pump to create pressure on the part, giving it shape and squeezing out excess resin into the breather fabric. Air leaks into the bag, I try to locate and fix the leaks.
I managed to significantly reduce pressure loss but can't fully eliminate it, so I had to turn the pump on every 10 to 20 minutes to maintain vacuum until the resin hardened enough to hold the shape. Once the resin cured, I removed the bag. The sealant had dried but was still a little tacky, and it came off easily with a scraper. I tore off the peel ply and removed the part. The outer carbon layer in some areas didn't bond to the foam due to lack of adhesion between epoxy resin and foam. The inner layer bonded much better since I had pre-coated the foam sheet with resin, and some of it penetrated into the pores. Stiffness and strength are noticeably lower compared to the part made by vacuum infusion. But the weight is more than 2.5 times lighter because the resin doesn't fill all the open pores as it does during infusion.